uh, today uh, we want to calculate latin square design and this is um, a kind of a topic used to analyze data in statistics and this one uh, you're given a data like um, the observation arranged in rows and column this is the observation and we have different observations and the observation here uh, are D, S, S, O, C, and C. So right away, when we wanted to uh, to analyze this data, we find the we just uh, add the row total and the column total first, uh, like this. Row total, you add directly, directly, uh, directly like that. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. You had this plus this plus this plus this plus this, and you get the total. This is the row total, and you do you do it continuously up to the last step here. <coughs> Next, we go to find to add the column total. <coughs> column total is this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one you had to find the total so remember this total here this one this one uh, this one this one this one will give you the same answer here when you had this one this one this one and this one this one so that is the first step you are going to do when you're analyzing this kind of a uh, Latin square design data the second thing you're going to find the degrees of freedom degrees of freedom here we have degrees freedom of rows the columns the treatments and error and uh, degrees of freedom are here this row we have degree of freedom of four and this is by uh, subtracting one from the total rows we have we have we have rows we have one row we have row number one Row number two, row number three, row number four, row number five. You subtract one, you get four. As you do the same to the column part. Here we have four, and it is all. It is five minus one. Or you see how many columns do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, and that is the number of total minus one. The number of columns we have. Then we have treatment. Treatment. Treatment the same thing. The, the the treatment are this observation and they are arranged in row and column. So you find there is five, just the same five minus one. And then the error here you calculate by the formula v minus one times v minus two. And uh, this one v is the number of the number of treatment we have. We have five treatment. That is one, two, three, four, five. So we have five treatment that is five minus one which is four and then four five minus two which is three three times four you get twelve good so next step you move to find the treatment here is where you're going to uh, classify this data into uh, uh, similar observations we have observation o we have observation s s s d c so you find the total of this O treatment. So this is how we go about it. Go in the first, the first row we have O that is that six point six. The second row we have that six point four. Second row we have sixty seven point five. Second row we have uh, the other row we have uh, fifty three point two. Then the last row O we have seventy point nine. So this one, when you add, you find the total. This is the total of O. Similar to S, you come here again. Find S. This is the S value. You add the S value like that. And this one is 73. Find S. This is 54 plus 55.6 uh, plus 68.9 plus uh, 76.0. Uh -huh, you get the total. You get a total of S. You do all through the same thing to up to the last step where you see. And remember this total of treatment 
this total of treatment should be equal to this total of of observation under rows and columns. So we move the next step to find the sum squares total. Then total total sums of squares. Total sum of squares you are going to to square all this observation we have we square this plus squaring this plus squaring this squaring this squaring this squaring this this one you square you square all of this you square all of this you square all of this observation then you after squaring all this observation and adding them you are going to subtract the correction factor the correction factor here is the total here this is the total we have here squared that is the total squared over the total number of observation this we have 25 observation that is we would say one two three four five and then times one two three four five that's 25 so you get the answer that is the correction factor so you subtract that you get the SST that is the total sum of squares you find the answer to be that next you come and find the uh, row sum of squares row sum of squares here we are going to to square these rows values here the total rows you square this you had square this you had this square this had then square this then square this and you find the the answer as that but this time round we are going to divide by the number of rows we have that is five and then the value you are going to get we subtract from the our correction factor which previously we had find to be one we find to be one hundred and eight thousand eight hundred and sixty point four zero three six and you find that then then you move ahead and find the column column sum of squares this one you're going to add the to you square the co the columns square the columns you square this one you add and you square this one plus square this one plus square this one plus square this one plus square this one you find the value and you divide by five divide by five by the number of columns we have we subtract from our correction factor which we had previously gotten and you find the answer the next step you find the treatment sum of squares treatment sum of squares here is the total of all the the square of the square of all the the, the total observation under treatment which is for this O we square 264.6 plus 328.6 plus you square you square all this you square you square 364.6 you square plus 328.4 plus squared plus 338 squared plus 372.9 squared plus 345 squared you divide by the number of treatment we have you get five we subtract our correction factor so after analyzing that you come and uh, find our come and find our uh, an over table an over table in an over table you, we always have the source of variation the degree of freedom the sum of squares mean of sum of squares and then the f ratio okay we find the rows we had the rows and you gotten that the degree of freedom the degree of freedom of the rows the degree of freedom of the rows sorry for that correction degree of freedom of the rows was four degree of freedom of column was four treatment four and twelve for error so the sum of squares is the value we gotten earlier but remember here we did not have the error the sum of square of error this is it is given by adding this is adding the total we always know that the total sum of the total sum of square is equals to 
column sum of square plus row sum of square plus determinant sum of square plus error term of sum of square and we already have the total sum of squares we already and having the column sum of squares the the row sum of squares plus the treatment sum of squares and plus error which you don't have so this one is a very simple mathematic you had this this and this then you subtract from this and you get the error and there you go is the error find the total so because we are only interested in treatment only you find the sum of squares the mean sum of squares of treatment which is given by the formula m the mean sum of squares here is is um the mean sum of squares is the sum of squares of treatment over the the, the 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 degree of freedom that is the degree of freedom the degree of freedom we have so we have with this one as the sum of squares of treatment and then we divide by four and we get this value and we only put an our interest under error therefore it is two or two point zero five divided by twelve to get the value so after dividing the value you are going to find the f ratio the f ratio here you got by three twenty one that is three twenty one point one three divided by sixteen point eighty four so you find zero point you get nineteen point one sorry get nineteen point one now when you're comparing this thing here we all we always have the null hypothesis null hypothesis is uh, is always the treatment one is equals to the treatment two that is the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis we always say that the treatment one is not the same with the treatment two so this one suppose we are comparing it to five degrees of freedom five to five five uh, five uh, significant difference this value from the table is always three point depending with the f fresh table that is you get the value of v minus one uh, that is and then you get the value for r of v minus one then v minus two so this one we get it was four and this one is twelve so from the table from the table you get you get uh, this value to be 3.26 so you find that this value 19.1 the value you got in the half ratio this value this value the half ratio is is greater than 3.26 this means we are going to reject reject the null hypothesis and say that the conclusion here will be what there is what there is no significant difference there is, is, is there, there, there is what there is significant difference sorry there is significant there is significant difference a significant difference because this the the treatment observation of O S S S C are different. This means there is a significant difference in this observation. So that is how we go about calculating the Latin square design and analyzing the data. Thank you.